Hey everybody, got my new lavalier mic on with my task cam. It's the only way I'm gonna get good recordings here on the voice. Hopefully this makes a big improvement. The uh, GoPro 5 that I've been using is uh, not doing well. It picks up a lot of static. Where it's coming from, I don't know. I'm thinking the mics are bad on the uh, GoPro 5. Uh, I'm not gonna spend the money to try to get it repaired and stuff like that. So anyway, this is the setup I'm gonna be using from now on. The lavalier mic with the task cam here in the garage and i've tested it out a couple of times and it does very well i don't get as much of an echo well, hopefully i'm not getting as much of an echo anyhow today's video is going to be on the bmw f650 gs better known as freedom that's what i call it uh we're going to do the brake fluid i'm going to go ahead and just change out the brake fluid on that bike bike is new to me bought it used and i don't know you know uh when the fluids were changed on it. And if you've been following along, you know I've already changed everything else. This is all I got left to do. So let's get on that bike and uh, get that done. Shouldn't take too long. So first thing I'm gonna do is, this is your master cylinder. I've already taken the cover off and the uh, rubber pieces off. I'm going to go ahead and just drain this out using my syringe that I use for pulling fluids and stuff out of things. There ain't much fluid in this master cylinder for the rear, so I'm just going to pull out what I can. So once that fluid's out, I'm going to take a, a rag and wipe all this down, <laughs> inside that is. <clears throat> and get whatever's left in there out of there this system does have abs on it on this bike people are going to be uh, probably wondering uh am i worried about getting air in the system by doing this no basically all i'm doing here is taking the fluid out of the master cylinder cup and then when i put fluid back in there it's going to fill right back up so once that's clean we can go ahead and put clean brake fluid in there All right, we fill it to the top, which is max. Now we go to the other side where the caliper is in the rear. So I'm gonna use a container and a hose. So we put the wrench on that bleeder screw, break it free, make sure it works. Then we put a hose right over the bleeder screw and that's gonna drain into my catch bucket right here. So pedal down, open it, let the fluid out. Once the fluid stops flowing, we close it. Then we release the pedal. Do not release the pedal with the bleeder screw open because what you're going to happen is you're going to suck air back into the system. Don't want to do that. Now, while you're doing that, you got to make sure you keep an eye on that master cylinder so you don't run out of fluid. It's good to do this with two people. That way you can have somebody press the pedal for you. On this bike, it's not bad. You can reach over the top of the bike to hit the pedal, the uh, brake pedal. All right. Once you think you're good, and you should see a difference in the fluid. It'll be a lot lighter color compared to this dark brown color. See the difference? I'm satisfied I got clean fluid coming out of there now. I'm gonna snug this up, all right? And now we'll take the hose off the bleeder screw. Doesn't take much to do the uh, rear brakes on this. I'll flush the rear brakes on this because uh, it's such a small system probably take you about I don't know two ounces maybe to flush this rear system all right that's closed put the rubber back on don't worry about brake fluid if you do spill some wash it off with some soapy water then rinse it off and it'll be gone won't ruin your paint okay last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna top off 
the rear master cylinder. And then make sure you got a good pedal. Put the rubbers back in and then put your cover on. I didn't tell you this, but on this, uh, on the BMW F650, it does call for a dot four brake fluid. I'll put a link to it on the bottom in the description there for you in case you guys are looking for uh, what kind of use. Don't over tighten that. There's no need to over tighten that uh, cover. Now we're going to go do the fronts. All right, the front's a little different. Front master cylinder is up here by the handlebars, by the throttle. A couple of screws. Take them off. Should not be that tight. If they are, then you have a problem. And this is the same thing as the back, except obviously you got a uh, lever for your hand instead of your foot. Whoa! Careful not to make a big mess like I just did. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to suck this out. Get as much of it out of it as I can. I'm gonna take a rag. We'll wipe it all down. I spilled a little brake fluid, so I'm gonna have to wash the bike when I'm done. All right, so I'm just gonna soak up what's left in that master cylinder. All right, we're gonna put fresh brake fluid in there. Right to the top. And now we're gonna go on the other side, front brake caliper, we're gonna bleed that. Same idea, you're gonna squeeze this lever, the brake lever, you're gonna hold it, then you're gonna open up the bleeder screw. This lever is gonna go down, it's gonna bottom out, then you close the bleeder screw on the front caliper. Once the caliper bleeder screw is closed, you release your brake lever, and then you start all over again. Same thing here, this is the front brake caliper. Take the cover off, I'm gonna put the wrench on it, Put my holes. This is regular vinyl holes. You can buy this at Home Depot. Um, I think you can get it by the foot. Very, very, very inexpensive. And it just helps not to make a big mess when you're bleeding brakes. All right, so let's get this bled. Again, if you have two people, it's so much easier. But if you're by yourself, this bike's not that big. You can reach these levers and stuff while you do this. I'll we'll just continue this until I get good clean fluid coming out of there. The fluid in the front is actually better than the fluid in the rear. It looks cleaner. Keep uh, an eye on the master cylinder. Make sure you don't uh, run dry all right, or run out of fluid. And remember, when you squeeze the brake lever, go slow. So you don't shoot brake fluid out of the master cylinder. All right, get some more fluid in that master cylinder. You can see how clear that fluid is. We're good. Just make sure you snug up your uh, bleeder screw. Don't overdo it. Just to let you know, this is an actual 11 millimeter bleeder screw. In case you're wondering. All right, we're gonna go top off the uh, master cylinder. I'm gonna top it off to almost the top. Put your rubber in. And I put too much fluid in there. It happens. It happens. Take some of that out. Now, to get some of that fluid out of there, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it, put the rag in there, just to absorb a little bit of that fluid. So, when you fill this up, there's a sight glass. Just fill it right to the top of the sight glass. No further than that. Oh, it's gonna leak out like it's been leaking on me here. 
All right, get that in there. Let's wipe this down a little bit. Again, this is dot four for front and rear on this bike. Put the cover back on. One thing I didn't mention is uh, you should always clean these areas before you open these covers to the brake uh, reservoir, front and rear. In case there's dirt or anything on there, you don't want that getting inside the uh, master cylinder and uh, ruining the piston seals. And this is just hand tight. You don't want to overdo this. So just hand tight. All right, now, last thing is I got to wash the bike because I did spill brake fluid. Like I said, don't worry too much about it. As long as you get it done within a timely manner, uh, it won't hurt the paint. But you do have to clean it off and make sure you get it off or it will eat through the paint if you don't. So I'm just going to spray everything down with some soapy water. All the areas that I, uh, you know, had brake fluid on. And... That's all there is to the uh, brake flush on the uh, BMW F650GS. This vehicle does have anti-lock brake system. The only thing I can't do is activate the anti-lock brake system to uh, flush the uh, brake fluid that's in there. Um, I would need a handheld scan out type tool that hooks up to this bike. And I looked into the prices of those things and it's just not feasible for me to buy one just to work on my own bike. It's just too expensive. All right, everybody, as usual, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share them. Help us grow. I'd appreciate it. God bless everybody. Till next time. Bye-bye.